Unit 3, Finances, Section 3.6, Commissions. Commission is another way of earning income. Some salespeople make an hourly wage plus any commission on what they sell. Now, a commission is a percentage of the goods sold. That works similar to markup. It's calculated the same way. The only real difference is commission is not added on to the selling price of the item. It's taken out of the store's profit. So essentially, the salesperson gets a piece of the profit that he earns by selling things, and the store gets the rest of the profit. In some cases, salespeople work for commission only, so they only earn money when they sell things. Good example of that, car salesmen or real estate agents. Now, commission can be both good and bad. If you're a good salesperson, you can make a lot of money, especially if you sell a lot of things. But the problem is, when you don't sell things, you don't make any money. If it's a slow month, there may not be much paycheck coming in. So a salesperson who works on commission has to be really good at budgeting. They have to be able to save money from the big paychecks to cover when they're going to have smaller paychecks. Once again, this is a percent question, so we're going to be solving this with a proportion. Percent over 100 equals commission dollars over total sales. Keep in mind that if a salesperson sells a bunch of things, you can calculate the sales all together and do the commission once. You don't have to do it separately on each item unless they make a different rate of commission on different items. And once again, this is just like our standard percent proportion. Let's do some examples. So here's an example. How much commission would you earn if you were paid a commission of 8% on sales of $2,200? So what we know is you get a commission of 8% and you sold $2,200. You want to know how many dollars would you make in commission? Let's start with the formula. And let's put our numbers in. You're in 8%, that goes on the percent part. Your total sales are 2,200, and you don't know what your commission dollars are. So I'm going to put an X there. And let's cross multiply. Divide both sides by 100, and your commission ends up being $176. And that is what you would earn. Our second example, Lindsay earns a 4% commission selling computers. One weekend, she sold two computers for $2,200 each and three computers for $2,600 each. A, what were Lindsay's total sales? And B, what was Lindsay's commission? Let's start with what we know. She earns a 4% commission rate. And then she sold two computers for $2,200 and three computers for $2,600. Questions we want to know, what were her total sales? And then what was her commission? Now that's commission in dollars. Let's start by figuring out her sales. Well, two computers for 2,200. That comes to $4,400 worth of sales there. And then three computers for 2,600. If I multiply those together, I get $7,800. Let's add those all up. And Lindsay sells $12,200 worth of computers. Next part of the question asks, what was Lindsay's commission? As always, let's start with the formula. We can put our numbers in. And we're trying to solve for how many dollars she made in commission. I'm going to put an X up there. And cross multiply. Divide both sides by 100, and our commission is $488. So Lindsay earned $488 in commission. And those are the basics on how to calculate commission.